Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts over here on the Scrap Room, and today I am using this fun sketch from Susanna Lee, and I'm going to turn it into a double page layout. I am using the Simple Stories My Valentine, which you get three pieces of pattern paper, you get two sheets of white cardstock, you get a simple story frame, and one sheet of the four by six simple story stickers as well as a fifth of the pack of the bits and pieces. I decided that I was going to use a lot of this paper as my embellishment pieces. There's going to be lots of pieces that get covered up from cutting out the paper. I felt like I needed a little bit more blue so I did use my distress ink and cover that thin piece of paper entirely with the blue. It just brings out some of the blue that is not as prominent in the paper and it gives it a really nice offset between that pattern paper with all the words on it as well as the pattern paper that is white and it has the flowers on it. So once I get all of those pieces down and cut off the edges I pull out my heart dies and heart punches. I'm first going to start out with this two by two square paper and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to trim out all of the pieces that have the hearts and then fussy cut them. That is four hearts that I can use on my layout. And then I'm going to take my Sizzix Big Shot and my dies and place them in certain places on the paper so that I get particular images cut out in the hearts. I'm gonna cover up that scrap of paper with the photos. So that was what I was talking about in regards to using the paper underneath the photos and then using it to mat the photos. I am using the We Are Memory Keepers layering guides. I love these things. They make straight lines for you on every layout. So now that I have the photos matted, I'm just going to play around and try to figure out what is the best arrangement for my hearts. And then I decide that I'm going to ink the edges. And then I decide I need to put it off to the side and figure out the rest of my paper. So again, I'm trying to cover up the places that I cut out with the photo so that I'm using as much paper as possible. The back of that two by two square has little white hearts on pink paper. And once I use my layering guides to cut that out, then I'm gonna use my heart punch to punch out some of the hearts on that pink paper because I knew that it was gonna be behind my photo so I didn't have to worry about it. I did receive this sweetheart ephemera piece in my kit as well. So I'm using that as my title. I'm just arranging the hearts all over the page to kind of mimic the sketch, but also I want it to make somewhat of a heart shape as well since it is a double page layout. So I'm trying to keep that in mind too. I decided to go ahead and use additional pieces of the two by two squares by cutting them out with the heart die and I'm just strategically placing them over the pieces. I don't end up using all of these pieces that I cut out, but I like the fact of having them there. Also, I did use some of the two by two squares in a square format because I thought that they looked better in that format as opposed to a heart. So while I'm arranging all of this, I want to encourage you guys to go and check out the Scrap Room on Facebook. We have lots of challenges over there every month, and this sketch is one of the challenges. You do not have to be a member of the Kit Club to play along with the sketches. If you do decide to become a Kit member, make sure that you mention that I sent you, and Rochelle will send you a little special gift in your first month's kit. I did decide to put pop dots behind the photo on the left as well as the sweetheart and then I'm just adding the hearts down where I think that they will fit really well. I used that pattern paper 
and tried to cut out hearts in different colors and different shapes. And here I needed a couple more white hearts. This paper had a little bit of white space on it, so I tried to maximize that by cutting hearts out with my dies. And then I decided to start with the largest punch that I had and just cut out as many hearts as I could, moving it down to my smallest heart punch. I also again used that blue technique on the heart pieces. So I had some white hearts as well as some blue hearts because there's a little bit of blue in this three pieces of paper collection, but it just wasn't enough. And I felt like it just needed more blue to offset all of that red and pink. And I think that it turned out really well. I took my frame and I went ahead and cut off the frame piece just to use the bottom. And if you look in the sketch, there's a piece of paper up there at the far right hand side. It might be a piece of washi tape. It might be a piece of paper. I decided to mimic that with that frame and I really like the way that that turned out. So this is one of the squares that I decided to use as is. It says my heart on it. And then I'm gonna use some pop dots to pop up this pink paper with the white hearts on it. So the February flavors of the month kit really focused on love theme and Valentine's Day theme. And so I definitely want you guys to come back and check out the other layouts that I am going to be doing this month. There is a birthday layout, which I think is a fun layout and then there's also another love layout. I decided to use that four by six sheet of stickers and there were three little pendants that had safety pins on the top of them and I thought that was super cute so I put two of them down flat and then I used pop dots on the third one that I put in the center. It also had this long strip of clusters in it. I love when stickers are like that, that the clusters are already done for you so you don't have to worry about putting them down. And I added that right above the frame. This little envelope, I also added up on Pop Dots and I thought that was super cute. I do end up adding that Love You More to another place. It just didn't fit right over that envelope but I felt like I had some white space in there, some trapped white space. So I went ahead and added this circle sticker underneath the envelope to cover up that trapped space. So now that I'm working on the bottom cluster, I'm gonna go ahead and add this white heart down towards the bottom. And I end up trying to pull up that XOXO sticker. And the stickers that are on the four by six sheet of paper is super thin. So I end up ripping it and I didn't find anything else that I liked on that sticker sheet. And again, I had some trapped white space, so I'm trying to figure it out. And I end up using that Love You More banner to cover up that white space. I love adding little words to the side of hearts or squares or circles. I think that it just brings a lot of attention to that particular shape. So I did go ahead and add the word lovable right to that pink paper with the white hearts. And now I'm just still tucking in. There's a lot of pieces in this layout that require you to tuck and kind of figure out what's a best placement for them. But I love Susanna's take on this sketch and having all those additional hearts. I think it's a perfect piece for a Valentine's or Love You layout. My final touch was I decided to use the Heidi Swap Color Shine in a blue to bring in a little bit more blue. And I go ahead and splatter that all over the paper. I do use this packaging sheet to ensure that I don't get any splatters on my photos. So that is it for me. Here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. If you wanna see more layouts using the Flavor of the Month kits, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.